What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. All right. So. And I just gotta say, I really like that Obi-Wan Kenobi look there, but Star Trek's better. Can you say, these are not the droids you're looking for? You're standing on the equator. Many times I have stood on the equator because I used to deliver boats. You know what happens when I was traveling from Southern California southward? Every few nights I would take the sextant and go up onto the fly bridge and I would take the altitude, or I should say perhaps the height observed, of the star Polaris. You can see where I'm going with this. Every few nights, I would get a star fix. I would get a Polaris fix. And if it was in winter time, I would get Cirrus. And I would get Orion, some of the stars there. And I'd get, you know, several lines of position. You know what would happen to the star Polaris as I got closer and closer and closer to the equator? The heights observed got lower and lower and lower. When I was almost at the equator, the star Polaris was just grazing the horizon. So close to the horizon that atmospheric distortions would like toss it around a bit. So it was no longer usable as a line of position. But since Polaris was right on the horizon, I knew, hey, that's where north is. You know what happened when I went south of the equator? Polaris disappeared. You know what happened when I turned around and looked 180 degrees behind me? I mean, southward. Southern stars that I've never seen before in the northern hemisphere. I'm sorry, the northern inner rings of the disk. The stars in the southern outer rings of the disk, the height observed, increased. I know why. Do you? I would really, really, really love to know. And if you say, perspective, why do we see the same thing in the most powerful telescopes humanity has ever made? I'm sorry. I know you can't answer that, so it was just mean and cruel and heartless of me to ask, wasn't it? Spinning a thousand miles per hour. Um, no, I am not spinning at a thousand miles per hour. I have never spun at a thousand miles per hour or even anything close to that rotational speed. Not even after a huge dinner of roasted green chilies and habanero peppers. Your buddy's right next to you. You speak to him. He speaks to you. And he said, if you light a man's campfire, he will be warm for the rest of the evening. But if you set the man on fire, he'll be warm the rest of his life. The speed of sound is 741 miles an hour. To which I said, hey, that's a win-win situation because if I set a man on fire and he is warm the rest of his life, his combustion will keep me warm for the rest of the evening. What's there not to like about setting people on fire? Which one of you can hear? Uh, the man set on fire? Ah, Jesus! Was the joke really just whoosh, right over your flat head? Huh. If you're at the equator, nothing is spinning at a thousand miles an hour. Hey, flat head guy. Go find yourself a ball, go sit in the corner with 
a with what and spin that ball one revolution in 24 hours no faster no slower bet you won't everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it